peer into the skin and that's what i love about this powder very much zoom in because my camera was out of focus but let's jump right into this tutorial i forgot to do an intro so please bear with me okay so i don't know which shadow to do which look to go for but i'm gonna take my blending brush from sigma and i'm gonna so i'm gonna you want to go right here in the auto v i'm gonna softly blend it and i'm hoping that i don't have any fallout which I don't see any fallouts and I'm going to sweet smoke it outwards. Go in a V uh, direction. And I like the way it has blended out and I'm going to blend it out more so that it blends into that other V because I don't want it to be harsh. Love it, love it, love it. Blending into that brown. Just going for something effortless. It's actually blue, but it's blending out as a black shadow. I really like it. And, um, use the mirror on this so I can see what I'm doing this is so beautiful so extra pretty 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 eyeshadow let me spray my brush a little bit and see if I can let it I mean, I like the way it looks, but it won't be, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. All right, so let me go ahead and put on my lashes and finish up the other eye and I'll be right back. So this is how the eyes are looking. Uh, if you like to know, I didn't put any lipstick on, let me just go ahead and put my lipstick on. This is Juvia's Place Coffee Bean Lip Line. I'm going to use uh, salted caramel from Juvia's Place. Using the eye magic powder to just go over the entire face. And so this is how we're looking. The eyes are done, and my thoughts. Let's jump into what I think about this. First of all, I did a blind buy. I picked up the shade Burkina in the powder. I love the packaging. This is a travel friendly uh, powder. You can use this with or without foundation, but I use it with a foundation today because I wanted a full face beat. So anyway, so the, the powder comes in this compact. It also have a little sponge on here that if you are traveling, you can use this sponge to um, apply the foundation. You don't need to take a brush alone. So you can use this little sponge to apply the foundation and that would just work perfectly for you. That way you don't have to take too much of stuff. That's one plus on this powder. And I like the way it blended out. It is lightweight. It is actually lightweight. And when they say it is refined, it is refined. Put my finger here. 
it is very soft it blends in the skin see I blend it out on my finger I can also blend it out on the back of my hand here so you guys can see see how it sunk into the skin it just basically disappear into the skin and that's what I love about this powder to be quite honest I'm not saying that Julia's Place does not produce good makeup but I didn't expect this powder to perform like my high-end powders that I have um, for example my Pamagraph powder I didn't think that this powder was going to you know live up to that tax but it refined it is finely you know milk just as the uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder my Charlotte Tilbury powder is um it's a high-end powder and it blends out very well it is fine it's, it's very refined and this part powder is just like this um, this powder is going to be in the same family as that powder um, this this is a good it's a good powder it blends well it sinks into the skin it is not drying um, it's not making my skin cakey so I'll come up close so you guys can see sister girl beat up I already set my face and then used the, the powder you know brush to go the remainder of what was on my on my brush to kind of like go over my face and girl baby go grab yours go and get yours it is very affordable uh I, i'll put the price on the on the screen because i don't remember how much it is but it is very affordable and i just love everything about it the uh, claims that that's on this powder what's the packaging so the claims on the powder here says that it is lightweight and i agree with that it is ultra fine powder like i said it is very refined it is smooth it is silky um, it says it's soft matte finish and I also agree with that because it gives me a soft matte finish Man, I just love my makeup. It also says it blends effortlessly Of course, you did see that when I put it to a test on my finger I put it on my finger and blend it out and just sunk into my finger It blended out smoothly and it also says here that it is silky Obviously, I already stated that long lasting and natural look. It did give me a, a natural look as far as long lasting, I haven't worn it for that long, so I can't um, speak on that claim. And it also uh, says here that the powder is a pressed powder, which I do agree it is a pressed powder. It's pressed powder in this compact, so yes, it is a pressed powder. And it says that it has ingredients that would tighten and shrink your the appearance of pores and shines. Obviously, it's a soft matte. It should be able to do that to shrink, uh, shrink your, your pores. Um, I'm not sure of what it means by tightening, tightening and shrink the pores. Maybe just giving the pores a little smaller appearance. But and if that's the case, I don't suffer with pores, so I can't really speak on that. But basically, I'm loving this powder. I'm loving the powder. I have to talk about the powder first before I get the foundation. And I'm not gonna. I'm almost forgetting about the foundation. But the foundation is a radiant foundation. So same as the. Uh, Makeup by Mario foundation. I love the way. Only thing that the Makeup by Mario foundation gives me more radiance than this foundation. But this foundation is a very beautiful foundation. I don't feel it on my skin. It's not pulling. It's lightweight. Uh, it applies seamlessly. It blends out into my skin. And to do a perfect match that I did online. I'm proud of myself. I did a collection online based on the, the chat. So I also gave Julia's Place a kudos for that. The way they described the shades online made it easy for me to pick my right shade. So I gave them a 10 over 10 for that. If you are afraid of, you know, picking up your shade online, you can also go to the store. The powders are so in Ulta. I'm not sure if this powder uh, if the powder and the foundation have launched in Ulta. I purchased it online. The shipping was very fast very very fast purchased it over the weekend mind you money was a holiday so um that also added in i'm sure if money wasn't a holiday i would have received it yesterday it just came in today tuesday um january 17th i purchased it on friday and it came january 17th and so i am just loving everything about that right now and i hope you guys are going to try this foundation and also the powder Concealer that I used under my eye was the eye magic concealer. This is the final look on the eyes 
the Pamagraph palette was very be beautiful. I enjoy using it. Um, I did not have any fallouts. I used three shadows in this palette and I love the formulation. Of course, it's high end, it's Pamagraph. It brings um, quality um, to us all of the time. And so I don't have too much to say about this palette, but it is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Currently, it is on sale on the Sephora website. I purchased mine from the Pamagraph website. And if you are interested in trying this palette, yes, it is a good palette to go with. Um, especially the spring is coming up. This will be a very good eyeshadow to use during the spring. And, you know, you can see the spring colors, the summer colors. So this is an all-year-round palette, in my opinion. I think this is an all-year-round palette. So if that's something you are interested in buying, go ahead and get you one. I love it. I'm going to use this palette as often as I would like to because it has shades, shades for the crease. It also has these um, formulas for, woo. Let me blend out some of the shimmers here since I didn't use them. I'm going to blend it out right. Let's see. Let's swatch these shimmers, shimmery shades since we did not use them today. And I'm just swatching four of these and this is how they are swatching. Very pigmented, very soft, um, easy to blend. Uh, it blends out very well in the skin. And that's that and so that's it for the eye look if you are interested in buying this palette i will give it a 10 over 10 i recommend it i highly recommend it every complexion can use it if you are a dark skin if you are a brown girl or like caramel girl like me you can use it if you are very light skin you can also use this and on my lips and on my face i have the video listed down below i did a review on the products that i use in this um that I have on my face. So I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.